Hello and welcome to another video on Dubai Life. When you're very new in the United Arab Emirates, you hear people talking about free zone companies and free zone jobs. But what they really intend to say is unlimited contracts. We have a video explaining the difference between a limited contract and unlimited contract. If you missed it, you can check it out on the channel. Nine years ago, when I was very new to Dubai searching for jobs, I had the same word free zone misused so many times. At the end of this video, you will understand the real meaning of a free zone company and the difference between a free zone company and the mainland company. We shall give little attention to offshore companies. If your subscribe button is still red, please click it to subscribe to this channel. And if it's gray, you don't have to do anything. Just leave it. Thank you so much for subscribing to us. If there's anything else that you want us to talk about or any clarification that you need, you can leave a comment in the comments box. Click the notification bell if you want us to notify you whenever we have a new video uploaded. Give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Now let's get started. In the United Arab Emirates, there are three main types of company registrations. We have the free zone company, the mainland company and the offshore company. Let us understand briefly the difference between these companies and how they operate. Let us start with the offshore companies in the United Arab Emirates. An offshore company is a kind of company registered in the United Arab Emirates, but its parent business is in another country. In this case, a physical office is not required because the company is not physically present in the Emirate where they registered as an offshore company. Let us look at the free zone company in the United Arab Emirates. United Arab Emirates allows company to register in the free zone and do business inside the free zone where they registered. Many business startups in the United Arab Emirates choose free zone registration because of the incentives and the benefits they offer new startups. There are more than 40 free zones in the United Arab Emirates in different Emirates. Just look at the list and see if you are familiar with any of these. Let us get to the mainland company. A mainland company in the United Arab Emirates is also known as the onshore company. A mainland company in the United Arab Emirates is registered and licensed by the DED. DED is Department of Economic Development. From whichever Emirate the company is registered as a mainland company. A mainland company is allowed to do business locally as well as outside the United Arab Emirates without any restrictions. Before we look at the difference between a mainland company and a free zone company, let us see what they have in common. The only common thing between the mainland company and the free zone company is that the visa, the residence visa of a free zone company and the mainland company is valid all over the United Arab Emirates. It's not only valid in the free zone or only in the mainland, but it's valid all over the United Arab Emirates. And you get the same Emirates ID if you're in the free zone company or the mainland company. Now let's look at the differences between a free zone company and the mainland company. Number one, the free zone company visa is valid for three years, while the mainland company visa is valid for only two years. A free zone company is regulated by the respective free zone laws, while the mainland company is regulated by the Ministry of Labor and the Labor Laws of the United Arab Emirates. The labor card for a free zone company staff is approved by the respective free zone authorities while the labor card or work permit for a mainland company staff is approved by the Ministry of Labor. And lastly, a free zone company can only operate within a free zone where it is registered while the mainland can operate anywhere in the United Arab Emirates including inside the free zones. An example I can give, an airport free zone company will only operate within the airport while a mainland company can operate within the airport and outside the airport. There are cases when a free zone company wants to do business in the mainland. Normally what they do, they register a branch of the main free zone company, but in this case, they register it in the mainland and they get license from the DED. All staff who are supposed to work on the, in the mainland will get a permit or a labor card from the Ministry of Labor. And these staff can work in the free zone and outside the free zone. However, the old staff in the free zone cannot be employed outside the free zone still unless they change their labor cards from free zone labor cards to mainland work permits. 
after watching this video if you didn't know whether your company is in a free zone or a mainland i think by looking at these factors we've seen and the differences now you can tell if your company is a mainland company or a free zone company or if it's doing both mainland and free zone another way to find out if you are in a mainland company or free zone company is by checking your work permit or your labor card it will show if it's a ministry of labor or if it's a free zone like a Jiblali free zone or airport free zone by just checking your labor card you can find out that's all we have for today's video thanks for your time and thanks for subscribing to our channel Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you have any other comment, anything else you want us to talk about in relation to life in the United Arab Emirates and Dubai, please leave that comment in the comments box. Thanks again for watching and watch out for the next video tomorrow.